So, um, all right, guys, so just a reminder, we are recording here, so um, I ask that keep voices down and kind of side conversations down, um, especially Ryan is sitting right next to it. Um, so our test is on Thursday. Guys, especially, um, so our test being on Thursday, come and see me before then, bless you. Um, obviously, if you're watching this online another year, it might not be Thursday, um, but this is... Now, one of the things that we did last class was make made that chart, um, and I'm going to let you use that chart on the test. So you can use that, like, it's kind of like a salmon colored chart. So if you didn't take that, those notes, you need to. So you get to use that factoring chart. Um, so make sure you guys have that, because if you don't have it, I can't just, like, grab one out of there for you. Like, it's something that you guys need to have. And so hopefully you took good notes on that. If you didn't, this is your warning that you guys should probably take good notes on it. Um, and obviously you guys can bring a calculator. Or if you guys, um, if any of you guys use like a factoring table um, or factor chart. So um, just know that you guys can have those things. So we have to review things that we haven't talked about for a little while. And that is our... Um, adding, subtracting, writing things in standard form. So um, we started with adding and subtracting polynomials. And if the laptop is in your way at all, um, feel free to move to another spot or move your desk. So adding or subtracting polynomials, and then we also wrote them in standard form. This is way back in the beginning of the chapter. Sorry, Caitlin, you're probably going to be. And so down here, they're going to remind us we want to find the leading coefficient degree and the number of terms for this example. So we're going to do all those practice um, items we haven't done for a while. But I'm hoping this wasn't that complicated for you. Most of you guys, I think, did a pretty good job with this. So looking at this, this is a positive. That means I'm adding these two. So I'm just taking these two and combining them. So I have a negative 3m to the fourth and a positive 7m to the fourth, 4m, and then it's just going to be to the fourth power. I chose to use that, um, the m to the fourth first, because that's that standard form. Standard forms when we put in the highest power down to the lowest. So next I'm going to look at this 4m to the second, and then it says plus this 4m to the second. And again, when I'm adding, all I do is change the numbers in the front. And then I'm left with a negative 5 and a positive 3. So I get a negative 2m. So this is written in standard form, highest power down to the lowest power, um, and then um, we just leave it that way, so we're not like factoring this or anything crazy like that. Now they want the leading coefficient of this. So what would our leading coefficient be? It says four. So the leading coefficient would be four. The degree, kind of confusing, is also four, but it's this four. A little guy. And then the number of terms, how many terms did this end up being? Three. It's three. One, two, three terms. Very good. So being able to do that, I'm only going to make you ask, answer questions like that one time on the test. I'm not going to have you do that for every question. So just kind of being able to practice that as we go. All right. Our next one here kind of looks a little like FOIL, but it's not. We're just distributing in that negative. So it's a minus. 5x to the third, and then a positive 4 because it's a negative negative. And again, they ask us to write it oops, in standard form. So we're going to put these two together first. I'm going to do that first because those are the highest powers. So negative 7, negative 5 is going to be a negative 12. And then 9 and 4 would be 13. That would be my simplified version of that polynomial.
And we did kind of review this stuff after we came back from spring break. Because we hadn't seen this for a while. It seems like a really long time ago. It really wasn't that long ago. But now it feels so long. All right, our next one is we're going to be um, distributing and simplifying. So our next one here, we're just multiplying this in and then just kind of rewriting it. But now we're starting to multiply, so we kind of have to change our exponent rules. So 3a to the second times 4a to the third, 3 times 4 is going to be 12, and then a to what power? The fifth, very good. You add those exponents. 3a to the second times a negative 5a, negative 15a to the third, and then this last one, negative 21a to the second. And then it looks for standard form, but we're already in standard form here. We didn't have to rewrite that. Okay. All right, our next one wants to just distribute and then combine our like terms. So we're going to multiply that 3x in just to this parenthesis. So a 3x to the third, a negative 15x squared. And then we're just adding this next part, so I'm just going to bring it down. Oh yeah, do you need to get going. Um, yeah, so the homework is listed on there. You should be good to go. Stop it if you need anything. Throw the shot far. Throw the distance far there. I was going to say, I'm assuming you're not like a sprinter, is my guess. He runs the paper miles. Yeah. I mean, it's not like you look at me and you're like, why did I throw the shot? But like, you need to have like a stupid little arm. So the three and one, we put that together, and then a negative 15 and a negative 2 is a negative 17. I don't think I told this story in my this class, but my, I ran a track in high school, and we had a bus once that had like the, like the luggage racks on the top, and um, one of the chocolate throwers put like a chocolate out there, and if the bus started to go and it rolled off, it hit my friend like right on the top of the head, like like close, like chocolate. And then like I don't know if there was another time. Where girl? Because it would be eighty pounds or six pounds. Yeah, but like I mean, a metal like ball folly from. And she was like the sweetest, but she was also the banana head to be in with. So we all were like, oh no, Lord, there's a metal thing on there. Like we were all like, oh, she like she ended up. I mean, she ended up being caught. It was bad, like, poor thing. Poor Laura. What's Laura doing now? All right, so. I'll, I'll never forget, forget that, that, but. Okay, so our next one is going to be distributing and then combining. Yeah, so we're just going to add this together. Yeah, and then we're going to add this together. Yeah, and then we're going to add this together. Yeah, and then we're going to add this together. Yeah, and then we're going to add this together. Yeah, and then we're going to add this together. Yeah, and then we're going to add this together. This is part of our review tonight, so hopefully um, that'll be a good review for you guys to go over. Um, we also did, this is where we did like the foil and box method. So you can use either method with this. I don't care which one you do. So if you do foil, you would um, draw like little arrows. If you did the box method, we would multiply. And again, you don't have to do it both ways. It's whatever one makes like sense to you. But we can combine those middle two together. We combine these two together. And when I combine them, I just add the numbers in the front. So that would be that foil through. 
And then those middle two just get combined. 